Why are you shy? I'm Benjamin Jenks. This is Adventure Sauce. I'm coming to you from beautiful, spacious Benjamin Jenks' home in Farmville, Virginia currently. And I've been doing research about shyness and I got some things to share with you if you want to talk to more people. Why are you shy and why are you so freaking awesome? First thing, there are a ton of people at Adventure Sauce that are shy. And this is because there are a ton of people in the world that are shy. According to scientific research, there are between 30% and 50% of the population is shy in, in certain situations. What that means is that shyness is really common and really gets a bad rap. A lot of shy people feel weird, awkward, stupid, crazy. You name the word, I felt it because I used to be shy. Now, I think the very beginning, the whole core of being able to get past your shyness is just understanding it and accepting it. Shy people can be really freaking hard on themselves about being shy and that tension, that sometimes even meanness can make it so much harder for you to just relax, chill out, and talk to people. Here are five reasons. Here are five reasons five reasons why you are shy. Number one, you're not shy. You think you're shy, but you're not. You're an introvert. Here's the difference. Introverts derive their energy from being in quiet situations. Extroverts derive their energy from being around a lot of people. Now, that's the difference between shyness. Shyness is a feeling of nervousness or anxiousness when you're around other people. So what's potentially happening here is you don't like to hang out with other people. Genuinely you don't, you don't want to, and it doesn't do it for you, but you think you have to because our culture is like, you gotta be crazy, you gotta be the life of the party. Get out there, get wild. And you know that's not your nature. Some of the most amazing people who really influenced our world are introverted. Albert Einstein, Abraham Lincoln, um, Lady Gaga, these people prefer to be alone and in that solitude create masterpieces to change the world. Maybe you're not even shy. Number two, you're shy because you were born that way. You have a tendency to be more sensitive than someone who is naturally not shy. You feel more about the people around you than what someone who isn't shy feels. So you're, you're sensing stuff from them and it's causing this nervousness in you. Dr. Jerome Kagan studied shyness for 20 years and he found children who are more apt to be inhibited, um, more apt to be scared of strangers when they first met them. These children, most of them went on to then be shy later on. And so he found this connection between being sensitive to new situations and being shy. Maybe you were born shy. The third reason you could be shy, somewhere along in your lifetime, you experienced a social trauma. Something happened, maybe there was a crazy bully. Maybe um, you moved to school, maybe you had a divorce, maybe you had an event in your life that created trauma, hurt your self-esteem, and then this this snowball, this created a, a, a habit where you avoided social situations. A lot of people can look back and think, whoa, before I wasn't shy, and then once this happened, I was shy. Do you have anything like that? Another thing with social trauma is scientists recently found that social rejection can hurt as much as physical pain. So having your heart broken by someone you love is as painful, hits the same areas in your brain as stubbing your toe, as um, getting socked in the face. Um, so when, when people talk about just sucking it up, just getting over it, they're really missing out on a crucial aspect that this is a, this is a serious pain and that if you can understand it, you can work with it better. Fourth reason you're shy, your environment, your parents, the social uh, setting you grow up in, your family, teachers you've had, social situations you've been in, all of these are these complex variables 
um, especially when you were young, especially when you were really young, that, that affect how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the world, and how comfortable you feel socializing with people. Fifth reason, fifth reason, fifth reason, fifth reason you are shy, you, you don't see the world clearly. Your brain perceives what isn't actually happening. A doctor in Italy showed children pictures with people showing different faces. Like a mean face. He showed these kids pictures of mean faces, neutral faces, and faces of people showing that they like them. And what he found was that when children rated themselves extremely high, they also were much more apt to rate faces that were pleasant or faces that were neutral as being mean towards them or they didn't like them. So what the scientists suggest is that shy people don't perceive faces um, that, that are actually true. So, so shy people are seeing people thinking they're not being accepted or not being liked when that's not true at all. That that person might, you know, might not think anything of you or might even, you know, think pleasantly of you but you're, you're reading that. Um, you're perceiving that wrong. So if you can change that, perceiving faces, the doctor goes on to say, perceiving faces is one of um, the prerequisites to having balanced relationships. Here's my main point. A lot of shy people try not to be nervous. They try to eliminate their nervous feelings and in doing so, fail and create more nervousness, fear, and then they start avoiding all these social settings. Here's, here's what you do, you change your mindset about it. You, you stop trying to eliminate the fear and you go into social situations anyways, feeling it, listening to it, understanding what is going on in your head when you're in this social situation so you can learn and deepen your understanding of yourself. This is the first way to start getting over your shyness and just relaxing more in it. I'm creating a series of posts about shyness that I'd love you to check out. It's going to be about a month long. My advice is geared towards creating a new social habits that can help you talk to anyone. And I've done a lot of research to kind of fuse science with um, my personal experience with shyness. And I hope it will be exactly the kind of advice that I never had that can help you create new social habits. That said, next week, I am extremely happy, proud, elated to share something useful with you that could be one of the most useful things that I've ever created. So stay tuned next week. And if you have questions about shyness, I would love to hear your specific situations, um, things that you'd like help with. Please ask below in the comments and you can check out more information on Adventure Sauce by kick, clicking the link down below. Rock it out and we'll talk soon. Take care.